What's up, fellas? Today we're talking about how to get big guide for skinny men because let's face it, being skinny sucks. I know I've been there. Uh, this is me in around 2017. So if you're skinny right now, fear not because I know how it feels. And it took me seven years to go from looking like this to what I look like right now, which is this. Okay. And if I knew everything that I knew today, I probably could have done that in about 50% of the time, if not less. So this video is a complete guide. Absolutely everything you need to know to go from skinny to jacked as soon as possible. Okay. It's the video that I wish I could have given my younger self all those years ago. And we've got a lot to cover. So let's get into it. Okay. So in this video, you will learn how to think to get big, how to train to get big, how to eat, what supplements to take, how you can guarantee your progress and things you must absolutely avoid doing because they will keep you skinny. Okay. Number one mindset. Okay. So before we talk about training, nutrition, lifestyle, all these other factors, we first need to discuss mindset because if your head is not in the right place, uh, none of this other stuff matters. Okay. We've got to get your head in the right place first because your beliefs create your reality. If your head's not in the right place, you can just forget about everything else. Okay. So first point to discuss is obviously genetics matter and some people are genetically gifted and born with great genetics and some people are born with not so great genetics but no matter who you are okay you can still build muscle okay you are not a hard gainer i'm convinced someone in a marketing department somewhere um invented the term hard gainer okay they don't exist okay if you're curious i made a previous video about them any previous related videos you can see here okay so you're not a hard gainer just remove that word from your vocabulary because even just believing that hard gainers exist it's going to kill your gains i used to think i was a hard gainer turns out i wasn't um so you're not a hard gainer okay guys you don't need peds okay obviously peds help and we're going to talk about you know how much they help later on in the video but you don't need them. You can still build muscle naturally. And if you're skinny right now, chances are you don't have much muscle. The last thing you should be thinking about is PEDs. You don't need the trend to get jacked. Okay. If you want to do that later on, once you've actually built some muscle, that's a decision that you need to make yourself. But right now it's not a lack of PEDs, which is what's keeping you skinny. Okay. So you can do this naturally. Uh, that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, gaining muscle tissue takes time. Be patient. Okay. So this is a marathon, not a sprint. Unfortunately, we can't just click our fingers and it just happens overnight. Okay. If you do everything right and you do everything that I outlined in this video, uh, you can do it much faster and you will receive results much quicker, but it's still going to take some time. Okay. So give yourself enough time to actually make some progress. All right. And if you do the right actions, for a long enough time frame, you will see progress. It's impossible that if you do the right actions for a long enough time frame, you will, it's impossible that you don't make progress. Okay. So what are the right actions? Well, we've got essentially three buckets here, training, nutrition, lifestyle, and we're going to talk about supplements as well. Okay. Next up training. Okay. So this is absolutely everything you need to know about training. Once we've got your head in the right place, now we need to make sure you actually go to the gym and train properly. Okay. And it's dead easy once you know how. Okay. So first of all, you need to follow a training program, push, pull legs or row split. Are two of my favorites. You can do upper lower, you can do full body. I think that's full bodies, uh, less effective for, for, pure hypertrophy, I would go for push, pull legs, upper, lower, or bro split. Just depends how many days a week you want to train. I would say maximum five, give yourself at least two full days off a week where you don't lift any weights because that's where the gains are made. Okay. The gains are made when you're resting and recovering, uh, and you're not in the gym. When you're in the gym, you're actually going to be breaking down muscle tissue, but we still need to go to the gym maximum one hour per day for five days a week is plenty. Uh, for each exercise, this will be included in your plan, but for each exercise, uh, for each muscle group, sorry, you want to be doing two to five ex exercises. Uh, working sets for each exercise, I would say keep it at three for now. I uh, don't need to go any more than that, especially if you're skinny right now. 
rep range. I prefer, uh, you know, 10 to 15, 12 to 15 is my preference, but anywhere between eight to 15 for each set and you should be good to go. If you can do more than 15 reps in a set, you need to put the weight heavier, okay? And if you only manage to get like six or eight reps, if you only manage to get less than eight, put the weight he uh, lighter so you can do more reps on the next set, okay? But the last few, the last three or four, should be a very, very close to failure. It should be a struggle, okay, guys? Learn proper exercise execution, okay? I talk about that in this video here, how to actually execute an exercise properly because it's not just as simple as moving up uh, weight from A to B, okay? If you do machines, it makes it a little bit easier, but even still, even when you do the machines, you need to know how to isolate uh, the muscle group in question, okay? So uh, if you don't know about exercise execution, go watch this video after, after this one. Um, and just learn each exercise which is in your training program, okay? Once you have the exercise execution down, the next thing is to just not be a pussy and train to failure, okay? You can't build muscle without actually, you know, going through a bit of pain and training hard, okay? So if you're not, you're not prepared to train hard, forget about building muscle, okay? It is, you, got, you are gonna have to go to the gym and push yourself. But honestly, this is one of the most rewarding things. I love going to the gym. I love doing a hard workout. Uh, it just feels, you know, maybe I'm a little bit sick in the head, but I enjoy the pain during it and I enjoy the reward after it. So don't be a pussy, guys. Uh, if you want to, this is optional. Again, I haven't done this for, for most of my lifting career is you can use an app to track your lifts. Uh, strong app is a good one. If you prefer a different one, use that. But, um, you know, it just depends how serious you want to take this. The best thing to do is to track all your working sets. And this is going to allow you to progressively overload. Okay. So with progressive overload, what you want to make sure you're doing is every single week you're doing more reps, uh, or you're doing a higher weight on every single exercise. And if you do that consistently over a long time frame, you're gonna get stronger uh, and you're gonna be doing more volume and you your muscles will have to grow in order to uh, compensate for the extra workload, okay? And a good pro tip I've got for you here is to record yourself performing each exercise, especially the important ones. Record yourself from different angles and then you'll be able to see just evaluate yourself, you know, how is your technique? Is your technique where it should be? You can compare that versus uh, the videos for the exercises that you're performing and seeing, oh, are you performing the exercise correctly? If you're working with a coach, uh, for example, you could send these videos to your coach and he will be able to advise, uh, you know, give you some pointers on what you're doing well or maybe where you can improve, okay? So now that we've got your training down and we've got your head in the right place, we need to talk about nutrition, okay? Nutrition is massively overcomplicated and I'm just gonna boil it down to the absolute, you know, easiest things you need to know, okay? So first of all, you need to estimate your maintenance calories, okay? So you can just go onto Google and type in calorie calculator. Um, it's dead easy. Uh, I'll do it right now, actually. Calorie calculator, you can just pick any of these. It doesn't really doesn't matter. You put in your weight, so I'm gonna do 31. That is my age, sorry, 190 centimeters, 101 kg, and I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for moderate. These tend to overestimate them, to be honest. So calculate this, uh, and for, say my maintenance is around 3,000 calories per day, okay? So for me to maintain my weight, we're looking at 3,000 calories per day. So if we go back to here, we want to get jacked, right? So, and if you're skinny right now, uh, we want to go into a surplus. So we want to add 500 calories. So I would eat at 3,500 calories. Okay. Um, macros are important and I've got the macros here. So you can do protein one gram per pound, fat 0.3 grams per pound and fill the rest up with carbohydrates. But don't overcomplicate the macros. macros. <laughs> the most important thing is the total calories consumed in the day and the protein. Make sure you get enough protein. Make sure you have protein with every single meal. Evenly spread out your protein throughout the day. Your fats and your carbs, 
it doesn't really matter, guys. Just make sure you get enough calories in the day. Uh, just make sure you get enough protein in the day. And just make sure you're consuming foods from real food sources, okay? So I prefer to go for three to four meals per day. I've tried five in the past, and I just feel like, uh, you know, you just spend so much time eating. We've got lives to live. We've got other things to do outside of the gym and eating. So for me, three to four meals is a nice uh, balance. It allows me to get enough calories in uh, throughout the day without spending so much time always eating, okay? Uh, and with regards to real foods, how do you know what a real food is? Did it run in the ground? Uh, did it uh, grow in the ground? Did it swim in the sea? Did it fly in the air? Or did it grow in the sea? Okay. If it did, you can, you can eat it. If it didn't, and it's got a long list of ingredients and uh, just uh, ingredients and with names that you can't pronounce and it says healthy on the packet, chances are it's probably not healthy healthy okay so stick to real foods meat fish eggs fruit uh the more you stick to real foods the better your digestion is and the better your body is going to be able to digest and assimilate the nutrients that you're consuming to be able to build new muscle tissue okay next thing is tap water don't drink tap water guys if you saw the inside of the the, the pipes that bring tap water to your house chances are you probably won't want to drink it uh, just avoid drinking tap water personally i don't think it's worth it at all alcohol obviously uh you know throughout my sort of lifting career i did drink alcohol a little bit but i wasn't going out crazy if you do drink alcohol make smart choices opt for wines and spirits with low calorie mixers versus like co very sugary cocktails or beer processed foods you want to limit this and see those as much as possible because they're just going to wreak havoc on your gut you need to be tracking your food, guys. It's absolutely essential. The app that I prefer to use is Macro Factor. You can use My Fitness Pal. Uh, and if you're, if you've got a little bit of restriction with regards to tracking right now, I actually made a video here how you can make tracking calories and macros the easy way. Okay, so we've got your head in the right place. We've got your training right. We've got your eating right. What else do we need to consider? Uh, well, we need to consider your lifestyle. Okay, because let's face it. You are in the gym for one hour a day, maximum. You are um, eating three or four meals a day, but most of your time is spent outside of that. And how you spend your time outside of that is massively going to determine, you know, how uh, the gains that you make, okay? It can either make or break your physique. It can be the difference between making gains and not making any gains whatsoever, okay? So the number one thing that you can do outside of training and nutrition is sleep, okay? And the best thing about it is sleep is free. It costs nothing. If you were to all the benefits of sleep into a pill and sell it you would be a billionaire okay so one of the best things you can do is optimize your sleep you want to get at least seven hours of high quality sleep per night you can buy an aura ring or a whoop band uh, and that is going to help you track your sleep uh, and you can get metrics and feedback uh, so you know uh, you know is how good your sleep is all right but some free things that you can do to optimize your sleep is when you wake up in the morning, go outside and get natural sunlight into your eyes. Even on a cloudy day, it's super important that you get eyes into your sunlight. What this does is signals to your body that the day is starting and your body produces the necessary hormones to get the day going, okay? And then what you can do is limit caffeine, okay? So caffeine is going to keep you awake at night. So I don't drink any caffeine after midday uh, because it's got a long half-life. Then once the sun goes down and it gets dark, okay, you want to limit the amount of blue light you're exposed to or light in general. So a lot of main lights I won't have on. I'll have small lights on in the house. If I'm using uh, my phone, I will turn the brightness down. I'll use blue light blocking glasses. Uh, and I'm just trying to limit the amount of blue light and light that gets into my eyes because what that does is it signals to your brain that it's still light outside and if your brain thinks it's still light outside it won't produce melatonin which will help you feel sleepy and help you fall asleep so you want to make sure that your body and brain knows that it's time for sleep okay and blue light is going to absolutely wreck your sleep guys okay so avoid blue light at night uh, make sure your room is cool and dark but not too cold um and all those things uh, cost nothing whatsoever okay 
Um, so that's your sleep box stuff. Other things to consider is, oh, there's a word missing here, which is stress, okay? And stress management, okay? So what could, what, what could be causing stress in your life right now? Well, your career or your job? Are you working night shifts? Are you working long hours? Uh, are you stressed at work? Are you, you know, do you have financial issues? Uh, are you stressed in your relationship? Uh, whatever stresses that are going on in your life, just understand that you want to limit and manage these as much as possible because the more stressed you are, the more your body uh, is just not going to want to build muscle in the first place. It's just going to be in a stress state. So as much as possible, we want to get you into parasympathetic rest and digest state, okay? Uh, another thing that uh, held me back for years is weekends, okay? I would train really hard Monday to Friday. The weekend would come around. I would go out Friday. Sometimes I would go out Saturday as well. We're drinking all weekend. I'd be getting in at 6 a.m. The sun would be going up and I'm just going to bed and I would just feel like death. Uh, and then Monday would roll around and I would do it all again, okay? And all that hard work that I did all week was just undone at the weekend, okay? So, the best thing to do is just quit doing weekends. Like for me now, every day pretty much feels the same. I do work every single day, uh, but I also do, you know, activities every single day. I eat healthy every single day. Obviously I have a few cheats. I drink alcohol a little bit here and there, but I'm not going off. I'm not doing anything too crazy. Okay. So best thing to do would be just quit doing weekends at all. But if you are going to do it, just do it in a sensible manner where you don't take massive steps back. Okay. Also, just be healthy. The more healthy you are, uh, the more muscle you're going to build up until a certain point, of course. Um, so uh, the more you can just be in a healthy state by training consistently, uh, just by managing your environment, by getting a lot enough, enough sleep, by eating real foods, um, you know, the better state you're going to be in to build muscle in the first place. Okay. And one thing I want you to consider is that everything that you do either takes you closer to your goal or further away. Absolutely everything. What time you decide to go to bed, uh, whether you decide to go on a night out, uh, you know, even just what you decide to have for lunch that day, everything is just taking you closer or further away. So if you keep that, your goal front and center of your mind all the time as you go about your day and make decisions, uh, you're going to make it so much easier for you to make the right decisions. All right. And last thing I want you to consider is that juggling multiple sports will not help you to get big. Same with doing a lots of, lots of cardio as well. And I'm not saying don't do other sports. I'm not saying don't do cardio, but just be aware that the more things you try and do, the more things you have on your plate, the harder it is going to be for you to get jacked. For example, for myself, uh, you know, when I first started training, I was playing football like five times a week. Okay. So I was playing a lot of, a lot of football. Uh, I was running around a lot, obviously doing a lot of cardio. It was very hard for me to put on weight when I was doing so much cardio, even though I was eating crazy amounts of food. Okay. So just be wary that if you are struggling to put on weight right now, and you're also doing a lot of movement outside of the gym and lifting, you're going to find it difficult. Still do some cardio every single day, every single week. That's fine. But excessive cardio or to the point where you're doing like competitive sports, it's probably going to hold you back a little bit. Okay. So just bear that in mind. Next thing is supplements. Okay. Now I made this little pie chart here just to put into perspective how much difference supplements, I'm talking about over the counter supplements here, not PEDs, but even if we put PEDs on this, uh, on this graph, it might surprise you that I would maybe put PEDs at 30%, something like that. Uh, because you still got to do these things, okay? The basics will always get you a better return on investment than any supplements you can take, okay? If you are curious of what supplements I think are worth it to get jacked, I made a video recently uh, on that. You can go watch that after this one. But yeah, most supplements are a waste of money. And I know because I've spent thousands, I've wasted thousands on different supplements over, over the years. Even the ones that do work aren't nearly as effective as training, nutrition, and lifestyle. So just focus on those. And honestly, uh, I would invest in a coach. Obviously, I'm biased, you know, <laughs> you know, disclaimer, I am a coach myself. But personally, I would invest in a coach before you buy supplements because you will get a much bigger return on your investment. Okay, guys. What's next? How to guarantee progress. Okay, so that there are things you can do 
to absolutely guarantee that you progress, okay? And the first thing is tracking. We have to be tracking the big four, which is your food, your weight, your photos. Well, definitely these three, weight, food, photos. Lifts is optional, but I, I would just throw that in there as well. Same with sleep. You could add sleep in there as well, but weight, food, and photos, absolutely essential that we track these. Every single morning, when you wake up, before you drink anything, after you've gone to the toilet, weigh yourself every single morning. And the app that I mentioned before called Macro Factor, plug your weight in there every single morning, okay? And it's going to give you a nice graft so you can see is your weight trending up or down, okay? And obviously, we want it to be trending upwards. And with the same app, you can track all your food for the day, okay? So for, for one app, we're putting your weight in, we're putting your food in, and then what I like to do is every single week, uh, take photos front, rear, side. So, uh, you know, in your underwear, you want to you wanna, uh, a shot of your front, side, and rear because the weight doesn't tell the full story. Sometimes your weight can be going up or staying the same or going down, but your body composition is changing. So we need photos. Uh, same time, same place, same day of the week, ideally. Uh, the more of those variables we can keep the same, the better. Ideally outside in natural daylight. Uh, and that way we can get a good, accurate representation of what's actually going on and are you making progress or not. Obviously tracking your lifts and sleep are very good things to do as well. Uh, something else to track is or is to do record videos of you performing the exercises and get feedback get feedback from someone who knows what they're doing if you don't know anyone who knows what they're doing hire a coach it's one of the best reasons of why you can hire a coach is because you can get feedback on everything uh, and that's just how you're going to make uh, progress as fast as possible okay so the rule is a general rule of thumb is if for two weeks your weight hasn't gone up and there's been no positive change in your progress photos, then we need to increase the calories, okay? So increase the calories by about 300-ish. You could do 250, you could do 200, you could do 500. It doesn't really matter too much. You're gonna have to like just gauge it, but just know that the more you push the calories up and the more of a surplus that you're in, you're not going to accumulate any more muscle tissue. You're just going to end up accumulating more fat and it's just going to create more work for yourself when you go into a fat loss phase. So just be wary about being in too big of a surplus, all right? So around 300-ish, something around there and just repeat this process. So put your calories up and then track everything for another two weeks and you should, the weight should be going up after you put the calories up. And if if not, just do it again. And if something isn't, if, if you're not making progress, okay, uh, you, you will start just accumulating body fat uh, without any muscle. And then we'll know, okay, well, we need to go back to the training because you mustn't be training right. Or we need to look at your lifestyle because there must be something wrong there because training, nutrition and lifestyle and you track everything. And that is how you absolutely guarantee that you'll make progress. Some people, like I mentioned at the beginning, have better genetics and will make much more progress than others. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. This is you and your journey and everyone is slightly different, guys, all right? And the general rule of thumb is you will keep doing this until you can't see your abs anymore. If you can't see your abs, if your body fat is roughly over 15%, at that point, I would go into a fat loss phase, pull all the fat off, and then repeat and we would go again, okay? And that is how you ensure that you still have a good physique whilst we're building new muscle tissue. All right, so what I want you to do is just imagine what you would look like one year from now if your training, nutrition, and lifestyle were all dialed in. What would you look like one year from now if your training was a 10 out of 10, your nutrition was a 10 out of 10, your lifestyle was a 10 out of 10, and you just went all in and you were super dialed in, you know, go, go all in for one year, what are you going to look like? I guarantee you look a lot better, okay? And I just want to say is you can do this, okay? Because I know how it feels and I've been there myself and I doubted myself and I actually started training loads of times and quit before, uh, you know, I actually commit to like seven years straight. So if you're doubting yourself right now and you've got and you know, negative thoughts in your head, I just want to say it is possible you can do this. If you're still watching this video right now, you obviously have the drive and determination 
to, and, and all the tools available to you. If you can understand the words that I'm saying, you have all the information right now and it's just down to you to implement this. For me, I had so much of an ego when I was younger and I just believed I knew right and I rejected information. I thought, no, it can't be this easy. There must be something else I wasn't, I wasn't doing. And I just wasn't doing the basics. Okay, if you master the basics and the master the fundamentals, that is how you'll build new muscle tissue. That is how you'll get jacked. And that is how you'll get in the best shape of your life. Okay, guys, if you want any help with this, I do coaching. I would love to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, you can go down below and click on the links and fill out an application form. If we're a good fit, uh, I'll do all this for you, A to Z. So all you need to do is wake up every single day, execute the plan, and we'll get you in the best shape of your life. If not, though, that's okay. Thank you so much for watching. As always, it's been a pleasure. Go out there, get absolutely jacked to the eyeballs, and I'll see you in the next one.